Hey guys, welcome back to my start of a channel. I have been really meaning to put up another video and I just... I'm lazy. But today I wanted to do a video talking about the appliances that I've had um, since starting braces, including the mold that I received on my first day, my bite plate, um, coils that were put in my mouth, different like wires that were put in my mouth. Um, yeah. And I do want to apologize that this video is not going to be completely live. I am going to be doing kind of a voiceover to pre-recorded videos and pictures of the items that I'll be talking about because I have not mastered the refocusing on my camera when I'm recording. So when I try to refocus, it just turns up blurry on the the appliance so that's what I'll be doing and as you guys can see I got pretty lucky because my ortho let me keep the mold that they used to make my bite plate and don't mind the green and the brown colors on it the green was wax and the brown is where I tried to melt the wax off but it didn't really work so that is not recommended just leave it and the reason that I had to wear my bite plate for the first few months were because my teeth were really crooked and crowded and if I didn't wear a bite plate then my top teeth could have bitten right down onto my bottom brackets either knocking the brackets off or causing damage to my teeth you could see on the picture or the video that I inserted that there's little divots in there and that's actually where my bottom teeth kept hitting the, the bite plate and as far as my experience with the bite plate it sucked like it wasn't the worst thing in the world but it really sucked to have a big chunk of plastic in your mouth all the time and it did give me a lisp and it was really hard to learn how to talk with it and then eventually when they allowed me to keep it out it was really hard to talk without it so I mean you get used to it but I I don't know if anybody really likes having to wear a bite but plate. I never felt like I was gonna swallow or anything so that's not really anything that you should worry about it's also not glued in and you can take it out whenever you want to well, mine you could. You could take it out whenever you wanted to, but it wasn't recommended. So, I can't say that I wore it religiously. I mean, I wore it 90% of the time, but when I'd get really self-conscious about talking, I would just slip it out and, you know, I'd put it back in later. And one more thing that I did notice is, ever since I got my bite plate, and even since it's been taken out, I realized that when I would sleep, I would be squeezing my jaw. And I think it was me subconsciously, back when I had my bite plate, I was trying to hold it in, you know, so I didn't swallow it at night or something. But now I've realized that still there's times where I'm like squeezing my jaw and I don't know if it's from, if it's really from the bite plate or if it's just from when I get my teeth adjusted or anything like that. As you'll see in the next two images, at one time or another I had a coil placed in the top set of my teeth and in the bottom set of my teeth. The coil that was placed in the top set of my teeth was placed there to spread my teeth apart to make room to pull another one of my teeth out to the front where it should be. And the one on the bottom was placed to make room to turn one of my teeth into the direction that it should be. The coils put extra pressure on my teeth and moved my teeth really quick. I'll admit it was really sore, but with Tylenol it was tolerable. The coils also kept snagging the inside of my lips which gave me mouth sores. So overall the appliances that I needed during my treatment weren't the greatest experience but if you had wanted braces as badly as I did it was way worth it. And if you guys do want to see more images or anything the first braces video that I had posted um, the braces transformation video it does have a lot of images from frontal view to like looking up at my teeth and you could see my bite plate when I first started wearing it and you can see the progression from when my teeth started to move and then eventually like when I was able to get my bite plate off. So if you are interested in seeing that just click over to my other video. I'll actually link it below or something like that. And while I have you guys here, um, a little update on my braces. I did have my ortho appointment yesterday and I was too chicken to ask them how long they thought that I had left so I still don't know that knowledge. However. I have a feeling that it's going to be longer than they originally told me and longer than they guesstimated the second time. So just wish me luck. I really hope to get these bad buddies off me soon, but it doesn't look like they're going anywhere. Um, I did switch my the bands on the brackets to a light gray instead of a pearl because as I've stated in my comments, the pearl bands stain so easily and my appointments are like every two months. So... Yeah, I don't want those in my mouth. Um, the gray has been working a lot better for me. I don't really like that they're so dark, but it was the lightest gray that they had. So 
So I just went with it. And next time I might choose a color. So if you guys have any ideas of what color might work best, if you've had them before, or you just think they'll look good on me, um, just let me know so I can try a new color out. So thank you guys so much for stopping back in, and if this is your first time to my channel, I really hope that you'll stick around. I promise that I am trying to get a whole bunch of more videos. It's just really hard to start off, and if you have your own channel, I'm sure you know that. But I just want to say thank you again so much, and I really appreciate everybody who has stuck around so far, and I look forward to talking to you guys in my next video.